This morning I woke up to the rain in my small rural town and I decided to make this morning a cozy, nice winter day for me and my family. So this morning I'm filling up a pot and I'm using water from my Berkey. This is our water filtration system so that we can have filtered water. But I am going to boil some water over the stove. I do not have a kettle any longer because it rusted and I said, you know what? I can do it the old fashioned way and use a pot to boil my water. So here I am doing that and I'm going to make myself some tea. This morning I decided to go with a peppermint tea because I was feeling a little stuffy and peppermint tea is always the best thing for me. going to fill my burpee up because it was almost empty and I'm just going to allow it to complete the filtration process. It's going to take about two hours for it to fully filter the water that I'm adding and I'm just adding the water directly from my sink and it removes all of the impurities from it and it leaves behind all of the minerals. It even removes the fluoride from the water. This is why I love using the Berkey. Do you guys agree with that statement? <laughs> now I'm going to begin my daily devotion as I sip on my tea just to get myself grounded for the day in God and remembering where the source of my strength comes from. Now that I'm done reading my Bible and praying, I just love standing by an open door or window and just listening to the rain and watching the rain as it comes down. It's so soothing to me. Now this morning I decided to make an apple crisp because I thought it would be the perfect breakfast for this rainy day. And I started off by washing off three apples. I'm using oatmeal, salt, some cinnamon, honey, and some coconut oil for this dish. I am going to start by chopping up my apples. I'm leaving the skin on because I do like to have extra fiber. I feel like it is best to leave it on. I just make sure that I scrub my apples really well so that we don't have any excess things on it. I do buy organic fruit for the most part, so there shouldn't be too much of a worry. Now I am making this apple crisp a little bit healthier instead of using all-purpose flour or wheat flour. I am using oat flour and you'll see this in a little bit. So now I'm just adding my apples along with some coconut oil and that's another alternative to butter to make it a little bit healthier. I did two tablespoons of the coconut oil and drizzling honey over it instead of sugar and I'm sprinkling some cinnamon over it as well and lastly I am going to add just a little bit of salt to make the flavors come out and now I'm just going to give it a little mix with my hands I love using one container to do my work so that I don't have extra dishes 
Now it's time to make that crumble with the oatmeal. I'm doing one cup of oatmeal here and I'm just going to use my Ninja blender to create my flour. Honestly, you guys, this is so easy to make and oat flour is one of my favorite alternatives to all-purpose flour. Now I'm just giving that a little mix with my hands and then I am going to add in one cup of oats and just mix that up. And then I'm going to add in some cinnamon. I'm using roughly a half teaspoon of cinnamon. And then I'm going to use some salt, about a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then I just mix that together with my hands. And then I add coconut oil, again, a healthy alternative to butter. This is two tablespoons of the coconut oil that I am adding. Now I'm just taking my hands and I'm just mixing all of that together. If you don't want to get your hands dirty, I suggest you use a fork for this. Now I'm just going to sprinkle my oatmeal crumble on top of my apples and just rearrange it nicely. And then it is going to go inside of a preheated oven, 350 degrees, and I am going to bake it for 35 minutes. And in the meantime, I am going to lay out some bacon on a baking sheet that has a wire rack on it. And I am actually going to bake this in the oven. If you have not tried baked bacon, you should definitely try it. I think it gives it such a wonderful flavor. You can make it crisp or you can have it soft, depending on how you like your bacon. And so here is the apple crisp after it came out of the oven. It smelled so divine in our house. Now I'm going to scramble some eggs for my family. I always preheat my cast iron or whatever skillet that I'm using because it allows the eggs to cook better. You're gonna see what I'm talking about once I pour the eggs into the skillet. I'm just adding a little bit of salt and pepper and whisking that together. Right here, I'm adding some bacon fat because why not, right? So yummy. And as you can see here, once you Put those eggs in a hot skillet. All you have to do is stir. I even turned the heat off. It's just that the skillet is hot enough to cook the eggs pretty much instantly. I wanted to show y'all this. This is cute. My daughter was folding clothes last night and she put dad's clothes, mom's clothes, Elijah's, Grace's clothes. Isn't that adorable y'all? Now I'm just heating up some raw milk over the stove to make some coffee for my husband and me. So I'm just putting half of the milk into our mugs and then I'm going to add the coffee. I feel like this gives it the best flavor. Now, to add something extra, I am going to add this bourbon maple syrup as my sweetener, and then I am going to also add in some pumpkin spice seasoning. Pumpkin spice is great all year long. You guys, now I'm gonna take my frother and I'm just going to use it to mix in all of those ingredients. Now I'm going back to the milk and I'm using my frother so that I can get a nice foam to add to our coffee. This gives it more of a cafe feel when you do have some foam. You guys, trust me on this, you have to try it out.
And to take it to the next level, of course I'm adding some more pumpkin spice to the top. I was so happy to dig into this breakfast this morning. You guys, that apple crisp, it turned out so, so delicious. You guys should definitely try out this recipe. Now it is time to clean the kitchen after breakfast so that it can be ready for our next meal of the day. I'm just washing a few dishes and then I'm going to wipe down the counters. And then to end this morning, I am going to light myself a candle and enjoy the rest of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Leave me a comment below and God bless. Bye.